Hello, tonight we are going to be talking about our mesh Wi-Fi service. So it's an add-on to our managed Wi-Fi, which you've heard us talk about before. Um, and so the reason why we're talking about mesh Wi-Fi is because you may have um, noticed in your home that you don't have very good coverage of your Wi-Fi signal. Um, and so that's a problem. And then another problem some people have with wireless internet is um, where they have one router and then they go buy an access point and it's a different brand or vendor. Um, and John can maybe talk about that. We didn't introduce ourselves, I guess. So Brianne, you know me and then. Hi, my name is John Cunningham. I am the Chief Network Operations Officer here at Dakota Central. So. Yeah, so um, just tell us a little bit about how it affects when you have different vendors of access points. Yeah, what, what we've seen over time is um, with wireless devices in, in the home uh, yeah. where we have more and more wireless devices connecting and uh, we've had people, businesses add more access points to the network. and. Well, everything should work together in theory. What we're finding is, is dis, um, dissimilar vendors or unique vendors, the, the wireless devices don't always hand off nicely. So you might have great wireless coverage in an area, but you've walked from a lower floor to a, an upper floor and, it, and your say your smartphone, for example, didn't hand off correctly. And it stays connected to the poor wireless signal. So what Dakota Central is doing with our managed Wi-Fi product and I have um, the actual unit right here. This would be, it's either a, a, the model a G or an E, which doesn't really matter for, for this example, but this would be like the, the base, uh, and it is an access point um, that we can manage for you, like if you forget your passphrase or any, anything like that, uh, Dakota Central, the help desk can actually um, uh, provision and work on it and see statistics from it, wireless coverage and so forth. But this um, just would be installed in one particular area when we cover maybe a floor, for example. And it really depends on and the home um, construction that we, we have. You know, if it's drywall and, and normal construction or sometimes in the older homes where they have um, maybe some mesh in the walls or something, it really does affect the wireless coverage. So if you need better signal on, on another floor, we now have what we call the, our, our mesh product, which is part of the uh, managed Wi-Fi offering, but it works in conjunction with, with this unit. And it can connect um, wirelessly back to uh, the, the base station, I'll, I'll call this the base. It can connect wirelessly back, but it also uh, will cover, um, extend the range is basically what it's doing. And um, we've seen really good throughputs with the with uh, this unit, and um, you know it it handles or addresses the issues of the poor handoff. Uh, it's the same vendor. It has the same passphrase. You don't have to remember um, multiple logins for for your phones or, or so forth. So it really does work at, at extend, extending the range. And let's say you had this on a main floor, the base station, you could have one of these on an upper floor and maybe one on a lower floor. Or right. even like patio or yeah. bonus room or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, it would get into areas where your coverage isn't, your throughput, your speed isn't as good as, as you would like. Um, and then we also have, our technicians have, um, some test tools that, that actually look at the, the coverage in your home and actually creates a heat map. So we, they would go in with, a, with an iPad and some test equipment and actually can um, map out. So if you have a, a back bedroom or, or some bedrooms that don't have as good a coverage as you would like, we can actually see that and we can take and place this in the, the optimal spot so you have the, have the best coverage. So. So um, talking about the handoff again, one thing we've seen with customers is they have, they have you know, say our managed Wi-Fi router, but then they have a different access point that's a different brand, and they're wondering why their phone doesn't switch to the other access point, and it should just switch, but it doesn't. So 
that's the good thing about these is that it should it should once you have it set up it should just switch without you even knowing yeah it's all being it's it's managed through the, the uh, managed wi-fi platform um, the pass phrases the the channel mapping that, that the configuration part of these units uh, is covered and it does hand off very very quickly and the speeds again are uh, have been noticeably improved over you know some of the other technologies so so one more thing um, what is the average you'd say number of mesh units a home would need like if you have a multi-level home is it one on each level or or what do they say the average I suppose it depends on I, I like I you said the make of the yes, home but, but. And it really does what we've seen so far with with the deployment of these is is we have the, the base station on the main floor and then usually one of these to cover a, an additional floor um, so usually we just add one but okay. in some cases we can add a second one and okay. it really depends on the size of the home and the, and the construction but that's where when we if, if we really want to know and pinpoint throughputs the, the speeds um, we can actually um, map a, do a heat map and, yes. and of the yes. Wi-Fi coverage so so they can make sure that the coverage is maximized correct yes all right well we are going to post a link to our website where we have some more information about the um, mesh wi-fi um, managed wi-fi is $5.95 a month and then each additional unit is $4.95 a month so if you're interested um, we'll post a link so you can visit the website for some more information and I think that's all we have. Yeah. All right. Thank have you. a good Thank night. You. Stay warm and safe.